I have always liked the idea of Beauty and the Beast, and he had even done a couple little scribbles of it, like nothing like what you see now, but but some little scribbles of it, like uh, five or six years before, I was like, oh, maybe this might be kind of cool someday, and put him away and didn't think about it again. But always liked the story, always thought this this could make a great movie. So I I never felt I don't think anybody really felt we're being saddled with something you know, that's destined to fail. It's like, we're going to, we're going to do this. Um, and fortunately it wasn't until later that we were told, yeah, Walt Disney tried it and he couldn't, he couldn't like pull this out of the hat. It was, uh, you know, it, it, it confounded Disney, you know, like what, 30 years prior to that. And, and so they shelved it. We didn't know that. So we didn't know you couldn't do it. So we, we went ahead and did it. Uh, it's and, interesting because there's a similar story with the making of the Godfather a little bit in that, and, the, and although in that case, they thought it probably was a sinking. Some of them thought it was a sinking ship. Some of them didn't. Wow. You know what I mean? And it's funny and, how many movies are like that, that you hear like afterwards, like, oh, yeah, people that like, they had no confidence. Lion King was that way. You know, I mean, wow. it, it was a troubled picture for a, for a while. And people were like, oh, God, it's just Bambi with lions. You know, it's like it's it's not it's not going to do that great. Jeffrey Katzenberg himself said, guys, if this if this movie breaks a hundred million dollars i'll eat my hat and yeah to my knowledge he never ate any hats but um yeah i mean there's a lot of movies that are like that 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 you hear that oh yeah this wasn't this this wasn't um uh <laughs> didn't particularly have a lot of confidence in in the you know the the, the project now you mentioned that there was somebody else earlier who they were considering who said he wanted complete you know control and of course they said no way yeah going into this leading up to that first day on the job did you and kirk have any conversation about what creative or directorial principles you were going in with i mean like was it like okay as you know as the temporary directors or whatever you right. they called you we're going to be open to these kinds of creative decisions close to those we're going to change this hire this person get rid of that person or did you not even have that ability to make those decisions at that point hiring and firing we we really had no input um, you know, it was like, you've got the Disney, the Disney team and they're behind you. You're not going to bring anybody in from the outside. And frankly, we had a lot of great people inside, um, you know, that, that first trip to New York was Howard, Howard Ashman, Alan Menken, uh, Linda Wolverton was there. Um, Roger Allers, Brenda Chapman, Kevin Lehman, uh, Brian McEntee, Chris Sanders. I mean, there's like all these people who eventually like rose up to, you know, direct and, and become great. And they, they were all like, you know, they're all like story guys and illustrators. Then, and we were really able to just bring them all in. So it, it was a great team to start with. Um, as far as like what we could and couldn't do, I think Jeffrey gave us a pep talk and said, guys, this is your, this is your picture. You, you got to do this. You know, he wasn't saying I'm not trusting you because you're only, you're only temp. He was saying, you got to prove it to me now. You got to show me what you can do. So and, he didn't exactly clip your wings. He gave right. us some leeway, but just, but, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you, screw up, if you screw up, you're out of here. But until then, go for it. That was, that was kind of the, the message we had. Um, what do you consider to be your um, personal greatest contribution to the film? Was it character or story adjustment, an idea or style, something else entirely? Um, I mean, it's, it's difficult to pinpoint my own personal contribution because we were always so collaborative and one of the one of the things you know going in this this goes to your last question as well is you keep an open mind you know it's like because there's going to be a lot of great ideas the the job we had as we saw it was just sift through them all and try and make it work you know try and keep the train on the track because there's going to be ideas that are going to be great but they're going to like take you off you know someplace else and you have to figure out what's what and keep it keep it going. So that was that was maybe a contribution, you know, just like keep, the the other uh, the other analogy was the uh, the circus performer spinning all the plates, yeah, you know, on on, on the sticks and like that one's getting wobbly over there. You got to go run and get it. Oh, that one's getting wobbly. So we're doing a lot of that. I know one of the things we did um, early on, and this was. This might have been me and Kirk. This uh, this might have been me and Chris. I can't remember exactly who it was, but really early on, you know, the um, the magic in the castle was just you know kind of floating behind Belle. Every wish 
every wish of hers was uh was granted you know and attended to so floating food plates of food would follow her and lights would just illuminate as she passed and if she wanted to sit a chair would slide up and and we said why aren't these characters you know why why aren't why aren't we making why is it all this you know kind of kind of floaty magic stuff let's turn them into characters and that's where a clock a candle and a teapot came from and admittedly with the most on the nose personality traits like oh the clock is tightly wound and the and Mm -hmm. the candle is flaming with love and the teapot is warm and cozy it's like so what it worked you know yep and then they became disney on ice characters too right Um, (laughs) right so so take us to the release weekend did you have an idea at that point as to whether you had a hit on your hands or not we we were really liking how it was how it was looking i mean we were we were very happy with the look and again this was um this was before disney split their their production team into two productions into parallel productions so we had everybody great all of the great people were were on our were on our film and after after beauty and the beast it split and you had the ron and john track and you had the gary and kirk track and you had the mike and hendale track you know it, it just went in different directions and a lot of these people never worked together again they saw each other all the time but oh you're working on you know you, you're, you're working on this project and you're working on that project so we had we had everybody and we knew it looked great you know and and we had we had confidence we didn't have confidence like brian mcintyre our art director he's the one that you know several months before release he said you guys are going to make a hundred million dollars with this and we thought he was insane because no animated film had, you know, no, the closest was little mermaid and it made like 86 and that was like an insane success. So we said, no, and none of the rest of us thought that. I don't even think Don thought that, you know, but Brian, Brian saw. And so when it came out um, and we had been doing test screenings, so we were kind of gauging audience reactions and they were liking it. And we did the, um, uh, the the work in progress screening which got a huge great reaction so we thought maybe maybe we got something here you know maybe maybe this is going to do okay and so when it opened up and it opened up well yeah we were like you don't expect it but you know you hope and and we had enough like kind of feedback to to like kind of pump up our hopes so when it happened we were like this is awesome you know this is the greatest thing when it when it did make a hundred million, Don and Kirk and myself, we like ran to a liquor store, got a bottle of champagne, and ran to Michael Eisner's office. We were gonna like, yeah, we're the first, you know, the first animated thing to do this, and we were stopped cold, like at the door. No, you can't come in. His secretary said you can't go in, and we're like, don't you know who we are? Don't you know what we did? And and um, she said you have to sit here. You have to wait. You cannot go in. And so we just kind of cooled our heels, you know, for a good like 15 minutes until the door opened up and Michael Eisner walks out with these two or three like giant guys in super expensive suits. And, you know, they, they nice to see you. I hope to talk to you again, you know, and, and they go out. They were from the Vatican. <laughs> oh, geez. We, yeah. And so we went, Oh, okay. Um, all right. Hi, we're the cartoon kids here. And, we just made a lot of money. Here's some champagne, you know. So then we went in and we had our celebration. But yeah, that that kind of put us in our place a little bit. Now, when the return started coming in, did you get a call from anyone at the studio? Did Casper call you? Was any? Oh yeah. Call? yeah, yeah. I think Jeffrey did. I think he called everybody that that day. You know, I was like, whatever the opening weekend numbers were, he called. Congratulations! And there, Jeffrey had this thing where he he would do this like kind of regularly to different productions, and he, it was on his schedule. You've got literally 30 seconds with Jeffrey, you know, and, and, and he's walking around with his phone and his secretary, you know, at the switchboard is like, okay, you're on with Kirk Wise. Kirk, buddy, how's it going? Just wanted to say congratulations and all right, good work. Okay. Like- next Gary, congratulations. Good work, buddy. You know? And, and so he, that was his morning, you know, and he was doing that all day. And so he called everybody and to his credit, you know, as, as mechanical as that sounds, it was really nice, you know, and people really responded to it. 